This time I'll form a marlin hitch. I'll come over and through, and you may recognize this as an overhand knot around the stem. It's actually known as a marlin hitch. Now I'll tie my clove hitch. I pass around the stem, forming a loop, passing under, around again, and under. I actually have a clove hitch here. Now in this application, I'll have to back it up with not only one better half, but two. Tie dress and set. One half hitch, two half hitches. And my marl, I want to make sure that the line is lined up right in front of my notch. The block is also in front of my notch. Then I remove my slip knot. Notice that my rigging line and my block are lined up right in front of my face notch. And as I make my turns around the stem to tie it off, I always turn around the stem in the same direction. That ensures that the knots work together properly. If I start changing direction with my turns, they can work to loosen each other. So be sure to turn in the same direction around the stem. Okay, we're ready. We're ready to proceed.